standard games, and let's see what we have here. We have two Lexi Strikers! They actually have the same skins on, which is interesting. Same skin, and as you'll see when we get into the game, nearly the same loadout, even. Yeah, um, both players do have nearly identical loadouts. The only difference is I spotted... I, I, I admit I wasn't looking too hard, but the only difference is I spotted were actually... If you see here, uh, Rex has Arties versus Archies from Happy Bun, and then there's also the difference in Flacker versus Seeker here. I believe that's it. And then and there so is the Ratchet versus Patcher. Oh yeah, that too. On the left side of the map here, we have Rex on the green team from Faction Memento Mori playing as Lexi Striker. His opponent on the right side of the map is Happy Bond from Faction Rage Squad playing as Lexi Striker on the blue team. Uh, both players here, neither one are reigning kings or queens of the hill right now just because this is the first game we're seeing today, so there is no need to have a reigning whatever. Uh, in the history though, Rex has often been a reigning king of the hill so uh let's see if he manages to remain that way today um happy both players well actually are both players okay yeah there actually is a difference in gemini versus longhorn here so uh both players are using very common mainline tanks but they are different tanks uh, that so patcher is actually going to go down because it was yeah. poorly microed right next oh, to the yeah, you're right about to the that. brutes so, Rex is going to get his bottom outpost a lot quicker than Happy Buns is, especially since Happy Buns is being harassed here by Rex, but Rex might go down here, is, but the thing is, Happy Buns is out of energy, taking down Rex, Rex trying to trick him there by moving into the cliff, but Happy Buns was like, no, nope, I'm just going to stand here. Yeah, he, it, it, it was kind of funny seeing Rex do that, I think... At first I was like, whoa, and then I realized, you know, I've no, actually at first I was not, I was just like, oh, Rex is doing that. Then I realized what he was doing. I think I've seen Rex do that so often that I don't even think about it anymore. But Happy Buns, uh, Happy Bun was just sitting there, and he was not fooled at all. Yeah. He was like, Rex, and I know what you're doing. You're dead. Both teams yeah. have their uh, they're starting up the bottom fights. This is a pretty standard play for uh, Twin Peaks. You're gonna see this on 99% of games here. Yeah, Rex has a very interesting four. To, okay, never mind. He had this twenty to fifteen upkeep lead. All of a sudden, the upkeeps kind of equalized. Uh, and a Rex. tank going down on Happy Bun's side already. Yeah. Okay. So it looks like um, it's interesting seeing Happy Buns. He does have an Archie there. He does have it in position to actually put it on the socket, but he didn't actually put it on the socket, which is kind of interesting, uh, because socketed artillery, uh, the every other shot is actually doubled so it's equivalent to a 1.5 times uh, speed modifier pretty much um, and they also heal a lot faster and they don't count towards your upkeep which is very worth yeah noting. it can definitely but be a help in a fight like this oh and happy bunch yeah, jammer is going down yeah, that so if he doesn't get out... another one out very quickly and oh, he does not crack. have one in queue, then he's going to start losing units very fast, and this game could yeah, be over. Yeah, that combination of Arties and Bombs is absolutely devastating ha Happy Bun's army here. Happy um, Bun is floating 16,000 credits, 19,000, but he is not building another jammer. Yeah, I'm, I kind of wonder if he's realized that he's lost this jammer, because in the in the heat of the moment, sometimes you just don't notice, because you're just like, micro, 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 gotta micro these he artillery. He is microing back, which yeah. is probably a good decision. Yeah, so he is. he did notice that he needed to build a new jammer, so he does now have a new jammer. Neither player d does have Sonius, and both players do have bombs, so both players are going to be very vulnerable to bombing against... Uh, the jammers here. Uh, it's it's interesting also noting worth noting that, that who? Oh, Rex is pushing out. And his Q is entirely bombs right now. That is a Q of six bombs right there. That's kind of interesting. But yeah, I think this push is actually pretty good. Actually, Rex dropping of his Rex's jammer back behind lines here. just to distract some tanks while he pushes oh, in. Oh yeah, actually, that was very good, smart. Very good use of yeah. it. Yeah, because now Happy Bun is actually, it's funny kind of seeing his jammer live there until Happy Bun actually and had to And Happy go Bun in goes and, down to some Gemini. Yeah. It looks like there's going to be no contesting this outpost, and Happy yeah. Bun has virtually nothing left out on the field. Yeah, so, yeah, that was a very smart push by Rex. He was like, okay, my opponent retreated, what do I do? They have artillery, they have some artillery still, uh, but do they have 
tanks. They don't have tanks. I'm just going to push out here before he has a chance to recoup mm. his losses. It and, looks like he's just sending him in yeah. on Y, and he's going to finish this game. Yeah. Yeah, I don't really think there's anything Happy Bun can really do right now. He might get a kill on Rex or something, which, uh, actually, not yet. Possibly, is he going to get that kill? Uh, actually, no. Rex at very uh, low but, health, but he does survive. Yeah. Yeah, so Rex, uh, taking 